You're watching the 2023-24 SCAC Women's Basketball Media Days. Today we're taking a look at the University of St. Thomas Women's Basketball Program. The Celts be led as they head into the season or the guidance of new head coach Manta L. Ward, along with leadership from sophomore guard Audrey Hernandez. And Coach Audrey, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Coach L, we'll get started with you. Back in June, it was announced you're hiring as you take over this program here at St. Thomas. Uh, I'm interested in what this last four and a half months has looked like as you've transitioned over from the D1 world into, into our wonderful D3 world. You know, how has that looked for you? What are you trying to bring from your experience at that D1 level into the D3 world? And just how excited are you to get things started and underway here? Um, I'm very excited. Uh, it's been a fun time. It's been a fun couple of months. Um, you know, the girls have really taken to the amount of work that I've asked them to do. Um, and, you know, that was the first thing, the first question that I asked them when I came on my interview, um, you know, were they looking to change um, and were they willing to do the work that was going to take, get the change that they wanted. Um, and so they told me yes. And so we've started that, um, that culture of a work ethic, um, you know, and attention to detail and focus. Um, and they've really jumped on board and taken it to heart. And, um, you know, the core just, getting um getting things underway and our taking our first eight days of uh, of practice to try to set the foundation of what things would be like here um really went well um and you know we've had some ups and downs since practices started um but they've really been trying to do their best uh, and now it's really starting to show up so i'm excited about what the future holds for us this season audrey you come into your sophomore came campaign last year as a freshman, getting plenty of experience, getting 19 games under your belt, averaging a little over 13 minutes a game and almost four points per night. How do you take that experience, what you learned over the course of last season, and, and kind of turn that into giving you a little bit more confidence, knowing what's expected uh, to, to get through the, uh, the the challenges of a collegiate season? How, how do you think that has helped your confidence coming into this year? Yeah, I think uh, freshman year is really important just to come in and learn um, like the pace of the game and the commitment that it takes to play like at a col college level. Um, so I think just being able to play there and play with um, a, like a lot of people are returning this year. So being able to play um, from last year, this year is really good. Um, learning uh, to learn how to play like on different levels. Like I think for me personally, I was just a shooter in high school. Um, and so playing at different levels and being able to score there is really important and being able to defend is something that I need to learn. <laughs> Coach, we have finally arrived here at game week. I'm just interested in, in how preseason has unfolded for this group. What have you gotten to know about these players as preseason's unfolded, as you've you know, gotten to know each of them? And you know, what are some things that give you confidence that, and encourage you about the start of, of this new season from this group? Um, well, the one thing um, that I've learned about them is that they have much more inside of them than they do. Um, you know, I think that one thing that um, a lot of them were struggling with was just a confidence level um, because of, you know, experience loss in the past. And so uh, really getting them to understand that they're capable of much more than they think they are um, and that doing the work, they'll be able to reap those benefits. And so, uh, you know, during the course of this preseason, just playing against each other hard in practice and, and uh, up in the standard and making them compete on a daily basis um, has given them a little bit more insight into uh, just transitioning into the game mode um, you know last week we had a scrimmage against Prairie View uh, and it was it went really well they played at a very good speed they defended at a great level um, and I think they were excited and a little bit surprised at how well that they were able to compete um, and then last night's game against Corpus Christi uh, we didn't play well in the first half but the second half um, I mean, we we fought tooth and nail the entire second half. Um, you know, they were completely exhausted at the end of that game, but they were so excited and happy about the progress that they made um, and the fact that they believed that they could compete with them. And then in the second half, they went out and competed, um, played their best. Um, and I think that gave them um, and me the confidence and to know that that hard work started to show up um, and belief that if they do it from the very beginning, we can be much better um, than they believe in their minds. Audrey, Coach Hell talked about the, you know, the transition for her and, and arriving there at St. Thomas. I'm interested from just uh, you know, student athlete's perspective, how has that transition gone with welcoming Coach Hell uh, into the program? What has she brought to, in terms of energy and new ideas and changes that are uh, something that has excited both you and the rest of your teammates going into the, to the start of this new season? 
yeah I think we we're all really um excited and happy whenever like we met her in the interview and everything uh just because right off the bat you know she came in with a fight to the finish and that's something that we're all really trying to embody and that she embodies every day which is really important like with leadership um and so just like to push this um in the classroom just the way that we carry ourselves on campus and then on the court and practice every day um and coming in and learning how to do that coaches you've you know, tried to sort of establish some of these initial messages through these first few weeks uh, of the preseason, you know, heading up to the start of your first season as the head coach there. What what have been some of those messages? What are some of the key, uh, you know, kind of standards, cultures, whatever it might be that you're really trying to harp on to sort of just establish that baseline to get this group prepared to start for the season? Um, well, like Audrey just said, our slogan for the year is fight, fight to the finish. Um, and I'm just wanting them to buy into the idea that we fight every single day. Adversity doesn't take a day off and we don't get to do that either. It's going to it's going to hit us either way. And so we have to fight in the classroom. We have to fight in the games. We have to fight just day to day when we're tired, when we're hurting. Um, and I want them to understand that as they put forth the effort in the classroom and on the court um, that needs to be done for us to be successful across the board. Um, you know, when we come to practice every day, I tell them every every day they walked in, they have to be focused, they have to be willing to do everything it takes for us to be better, and they have to be committed to fight to the finish every day. So focused, willing, willingness and commitment um, are the biggest things that we talk about on a daily basis uh, for them to be able to be successful. Audrey, finally, you know, coming into the season, obviously the excitement of, of the start of a new journey, a new era there with the women's basketball program. But even coming off the of last season, this team made the SCAC tournament and you were, you know, still fighting uh, to the end to accomplish your goals. As you t like talked with some of your teammates coming into this 2023-24 season about some of the goals for this year, what have those conversations looked like and what's going to be key in order for this team to accomplish those heading into the year? Um, I think the key for us is just uh, staying together. Um, like we're really focusing on next play mentality. That's something that's really important for us. And that's going to be able to keep us together on the court. Um, and then I know that if we do that and keep the positive energy and stick together as a team, that'll, that'll lead us to, um, all the goals we want to accomplish winning games. And finally, coach wrapping things up with you. I, I think it's, you're in a unique spot where, you know, you get only one first season and you're in the middle of it now. So as you've kind of taken inventory, uh, and looked at, at an outlook of this season about, you know, how this could be successful. That What does that look like to you? How, how does this group try to go about and put together a successful season in your mind and what's going to be key in order to, to, to make that, uh, accomplish those goals heading into the year? Um, I think with us just being one step better every day, um, and that has been the goal thus far in practice, uh, because when you're in the middle of a culture change, you're in the middle of uh, what we call it is the gap, the the space between where you were and where you want to be. And so I tell the girls every day we're living in the gap and it's what you do in the gap it's what you do in, with the opportunity that you have. Um, and in our gap, we need to be one step better than we were yesterday. Um, and for us, wherever we end up, where we're one step better, hopefully that leads to success in this foundational season. Um, and I believe that we're starting to do that. Um, and we're, we, we've laid a pretty good foundation and we just got to keep on brick by brick. Um, but we're doing the work, um, that gives us confidence that we're be able to be successful. University of St. Thomas head women's basketball coach, Manta L. Ward, along with sophomore guard, Audrey Hernandez, the Celts open up the 2023, 24 campaign when they take on Arlington Baptist at home, November 11th coach Audrey, thanks so much for your time today and best of luck as you head into the year. Thank you. Thank you.